I guess I actually removed the battery uh, and battery tray and found some goodies here. I have to take this off, clean it all up from rust. There's some right there, there's some right there, bubbling, and there's some right there as well. Already cleaned, there's, there was a bunch of leaves actually here, so. Uh, yeah, so if you, if you have a W126 or any other old school bends, make sure you inspect all this stuff and fix. All right, this went a little too crazy. All right, I have this whole thing pretty much loosened up on both sides. Here's the reason why I need to get over there to clean all this rust off. And another thing, look, when I lift it, there's actually rust right there under that guy. Finally, after disconnecting a bunch of stuff, and everything, this thing is gonna come out in a little bit. It's basically out. Just be very careful, this thing is kind of fragile. There we go. So much junk in there. Ooh, I can see everything pretty good. There was a lot of junk, a lot of leaves too. Okay. So, Here's what I need to work on. Uh, this area, and I can work on that area. Really good access now. dissolver action okay so on this side I removed this resistor and then you can see all the goodies right there huh? all the junk this is just half of it I cleaned the other half already there was a lot of junk and garbage and the main thing is rust to take care of this rust. Slowly started coating everything with paint. Um, over here still getting dry still some rust dissolver on it and afterwards i'm gonna coat it with primer and then i'll paint it afterwards Alright guys, so this is all good now, so I can go ahead, wipe it off, and I'm ready to spray the primer on this baby. Just want to make sure that the surface is all dry. Okay. Alright guys, it's getting late, and we're still here, we're still working on our benzes, I'm working on W126, and my buddy's working on a W123. 240D Cherry Pie. We're changing, removing their drive shaft right now to change the flex discs and the center support. It's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to make this thing go and you know be a, you know a good running and driving car at least right now. 
you know and then later on we're gonna start you know doing all the body stuff and everything else so So since this was disconnected, I'm trying to move it this way just by pushing it. And it's actually you can open it too. And this whole sway bar is kind of uh, kind of moves up and down so you can you have you'll have clearance to move this this way. And the reason why I want to do it is because I've got to clean all this rust off and treat all this area. All right guys, this is cleaned up pretty well. Not finished obviously, but right now I'm soaking it in a rust dissolver. All right, brake booster's out. And unfortunately, nothing is always easy. So I have to disconnect master cylinder, okay, from here. And here's what we're looking at guys, under the brake booster, it's a lot of crazy stuff going on. So it's a good thing that I'm removing all this stuff and I'll be cleaning all this. All right guys, the booster is all cleaned up and ready to be painted. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and paint it with primer first. And let's paint it black. I removed this uh, mount and I'm going to be working on this area right here. Almost done prepping this area and I'll actually be removing the steering box at some point later but right now I wanted to take care of all these guys. Alright, uh, but ready to put the primer on and paint. Primered. All right, so the brake booster is in. And right now I'm getting ready to put the master cylinder back on and start reconnecting everything on this side. When you're reinstalling the master cylinder, you gotta make sure you put something under there like cardboard or plastic bags, just so the brake fluid doesn't drip out. As you can see, I have the brake fluid all blocked off, so I'm not losing any brake fluid. So hopefully I won't have to bleed it uh, later, but I might have to still bleed it. Um, from the master cylinder, but we'll see. Uh, main thing is don't get any brake fluid on your paint. And always use a, a line wrench when working with brake lines. As you can see, I reconnected this brake line. It goes to the right passenger wheel, front passenger wheel, and some brake fluid started dripping. That's why you need a cardboard. master cylinders installed all the lines installed one two three and tightened up and there's no leaks and I didn't really lose pretty much almost any brake fluid just a little bit just had to top it off that's all good now and let me show you how the brake pedal feels I didn't have to do any bleeding at all so there's the brake pedal Great guys, still good. So I mean, I'm gonna start the engine, and we're gonna later on we're gonna see if it's actually good or not. I'm gonna drive it around. Might have to do some bleeding, but probably not at all. Also, the repaired area is right there. There's a bunch of wheel bearing grease everywhere. This will never ever rust, guys. It's amazing. And I also had first so 
clean it all up, put a primer, a couple coats of primer, and put a spray paint, black spray paint, and I put a um, black paint, and I used the, actually the brush, I used the thick paint, and then afterwards I put this wheel bearing grease. It's amazing, guys. Finally, after a couple of days of raining, um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this all up, and I have a couple more jobs to do, and trying to bring this car back on the road again so I can drive it and yeah later I'm gonna finish that side um, but main thing main the biggest job was on this side is because it has this brake booster that needed to be removed and the master cylinder and other stuff and I tried I tried to keep the master cylinder intact but it's just impossible because you have to slide out uh, the master cylinder from the brake booster out and just the lines were in the way so i had to loosen the lines up so and i just decided to remove just everything literally just the master cylinder first and then brake booster just kind of separated them so all right before uh, putting this part back on there's some rubber uh grommets that need to be conditioned and lubricated so i'll do that and just so you can see i put some more grease this time it's just a, a little different grease and more heavy duty okay and everything else is good vacuum brake booster and brake master cylinder the um brake fluid level connectors all that stuff is reconnected and that wiring harness is all reattached nicely okay and then uh, as you guys know there's a vacuum uh, reservoir on that side and there's a line that comes to it that's also reconnected right there um, yeah right now I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing all this stuff and lubricating all this I condition all this stuff all these seals so they never crack never go bad let it soak Alright, all this stuff is getting cleaned up from rust. I already started primering that area. And yeah, everything looking good. Thank you God for all the food. For everything that we have. Alright. About to eat, I'm gonna continue work on cars. Sunday, beautiful sunny Sunday and yeah we're gonna keep going I'll show you the process and what else I got left on that W126 and as far as the W123 it's still jacked up and putting the drive shaft back on today with new flex disc and center support so people who all right guys after coating after cleaning this this is all coated now. And yeah, the next step will be to put uh, wheel bearing grease on here. And I'll reinstall that mount as well. Alright uh, guys, so after the paint dried up, and we have wheel bearing grease. It's actually nice. It's really nice, guys. Um, I'm about ready to put everything back. I'm gonna reinstall that mount for the sway bar, and we're gonna start putting everything back. So this job, it, you know, took me like two days right now. Pretty much two full days. Maybe not full days, but like two half days. So pretty much one full day. <laughs> one full day. I'm doing this job just. And I'm trying and I did everything correctly. I took everything out and I cleaned all the metal. So there was no more rust left. And it's very important, guys. And if you have an old school Benz or just any old school car, just make sure you check all that stuff. Especially under the brake booster. Sometimes brake fluid leaks there. And, you know, whether, you know, people change the master cylinder or it starts leaking or whatever the case may be, they forget about the leaky brake fluid that goes and sits there and rusts out all that area in this case i mean uh, i don't think it was a brake fluid problem i think something else is just like from age started like rusting the paint came off in one spot and just started rusting and yeah so yeah 
yeah just make sure to double check those areas in your cars and fix it all up take it all out whatever it, it takes don't be lazy take it all out and yeah in my case i mean i was just ready to replace the fender and then i started noticing all those problems and rust 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 and yeah, just literally just decided to take it all out you know all those plates and everything just just to do everything correctly <laughs> all right guys look at this so this is all repaired all the rust cleaned up painted protected wheel wheel bearing grease everything is getting reconnected back all these aluminum walls are coming back together all right that side boosters looking nice and everything all right the only thing i'm missing is the seal that i'm gonna put right now there you go there's the seal and i also conditioned it so it's nicely protected now guys here we have it there you have it look at this beautiful booster all right that was cleaned all up from rust and painted all right uh, i'll of course do the uh probably the engine compartment detail later but uh, i'm just so happy i got that stuff done all right guys so this is all done um all put back together nicely everything looks great um everything is lubricated with grease um, and all cleaned up nicely guys and brake booster looks amazing so yeah that's what i did and the batteries all back together and wash your foot and all that stuff so yeah i'm pretty happy about that um if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel a lot of videos coming up and i will see you in the next one guys i love your mercedes or whatever classic car you have bye